So, where are we with this? Well, first of all, you really need to understand that at this point in time, the way we are here in the United States, mental health is dead. If you're thinking about, I'm in the mental health field, and I'll forget, you're a lost cause, okay? Mental health is now really part of behavioral health, which is actually more exciting. Um, mental health has been responsible for generating a lot of information about uh, interventions, about understanding behavior, about trying to change behavior. It's really been very good at helping us develop diagnostic categories, looking at different kinds of behaviors but through the diagnostic categories and try to match them with interventions. And we generated a lot of research. <coughs> but in terms of the delivery of service, it's actually dead at this point. The whole revolution around uh, reimbursements and the Health Care Act is basically centered around behavioral health, which is actually more exciting because that integrates substance abuse, mental health, addiction. Um, it, uh, you know, most of the things that we're trying to deal with is compliance if you're dealing with health behaviors. You're changing behaviors, trying to keep them there. When you look at healthy people, for example, which is this is the driving force of, of health in the United States. It's called Healthy People 2020. This is what's, how all of the funding is going to be funded through. Okay? And when you look at adolescent health uh, um, priorities, you're looking at wellness checkups, after school activities, adult adolescent connection, transition to self-sufficiency from foster care, educational achievement, school breakfast program, illegal drugs on school property, school safety at school as perceived by parents, school har uh, student harassment related to sexual orientation and gender, um, serious violent incidences in public schools, and youth penetration, uh, per perpetration of and victimization by crimes. This has nothing to do about operations of heart attacks or medications that you have to take. This is all preventive <coughs> behavioral health. This is our field. So really what I, what we really need to look at is who are psychologists? And for me what makes sense is that psychologists at the doctoral level are truly our architects and engineers of behavioral health. We recreate strategies and interventions. That to me is what who, who we are. And we develop the theories, create the interventions and protocols, examine efficacy, train persons to execute the protocols, monitor its quality and by examining outcomes, ensure fidelity through supervision, and examine efficacy in its, in, uh, in its implementation through program evaluation. The clinical leaders which is different than what someone from a master's level would be able to do, which psychologists need to partner with, because we can't do the frontline work and then do all of this at the same time. Um, we need people to actually have the skills to implement things that are designed, uh, perhaps manage them and administrate programs and projects. And the psychologist doesn't really have to do that. It can supervise and oversee that. But it should be designing and creating leadership in the field of behavioral health. A lot of our discussion is about mental health and people keep using the term. And the more you use it, the more you're politically making yourself obsolete. Because that's not the thinking of what the federal and state and county workers are thinking. They're thinking behavioral health. They're thinking of integrating health systems within a model of integration around health centers, for example, when you're talking about public health. So that when somebody comes in, the triage person may not be a nurse, but actually a psychologist with some nursing experience for example. So now, because about 40% of what people get in terms of the clinics, the health clinics, are basically uh, behavioral health related problems. Anxiety attacks, um, um, uh, you know, can't sleep, um, th things like that. So the triage person who has psychological training is better able to, 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 um, to figure out what are the central core problems and properly address them in terms of referral than someone who really doesn't have that background. So it's an example of that mental health as we think about it 
is really a silo that mm -hmm. is not going to exist. It's going to be, it's integrated into behavioral health. So it's bigger than what we have been thinking about.